I don't have to tell you that we are mortal because you are soldiers, you always are conscious about this. But we are like tiny specks of dust in this universe. Many like you and me have come and gone, not a trace of them anywhere. But only a few we remember. We only remember those people who hardly did anything. But they were of a certain kind. Right from ancient times, well, we remember Shiva, he did nothing. He sat still or he danced, crazy man. But we remember him. We remember various yogis and saints and sages who did nothing. Nothing much in the world compared to the business people of the time, the kings of the time, the soldiers of the time, nothing much. But we remember them because their imprint on the planet is bigger than anybody else. This imprint happens not because they are trying to leave, leave a footprint. Those who try to leave a footprint on the planet, they will never fly. If you want to leave a footprint, obviously you're not going to fly. Suppose among the hundred of you who are leaving strong footprints with your boots, suppose one of you flew across the border, just like that, not in an airplane, just like that. That one man you're going to remember forever, isn't it so? Hmm? Because he transcended limitations that are supposed to be human. That's what needs to happen to every life. In some way we must transcend the limitations of what we think are the limitations of being human. Just look at this today. If you utter the word human, people will only say, oh, I am only human. This means they are always using the word human with reference to their limitations. I am only human. Very rarely you saw anybody saying, I am human. Not referring to the immensity of being human, always referring to the limitations of being human. What yoga means is, the word yoga means union. Union means there is you and if you look at it in a rim limited perspective, there is you and other. But if you look at it in the larger perspective, there is you and the universe. You versus the universe. See, this is where the border is, not there. This is where the border is, me and the rest of the universe. Here there is a border. If you cross this border successfully, then we say you are a yogi, you become one with everything. If you do not cross this border, you will have to always guard it, which you know is very odorous. So when you realize this and you consciously cross the border, then you are referred to as a yogi. If you are able to cross the border, suddenly you will not refer to the human being. The word human will not come out of your mouth anymore referring to the limitations you will talk about human, referring to the immensity of being human. Because once you cross the border, the whole world is yours. So, you must guard the borders of the nation. This border, you must tear it open. This is why you are here, to do some yoga. <laughs> Means, to open up this border, this need not be guarded. That border, unfortunately, we have to guard because uh, people still in this world have not matured enough to live without a border. Hmm? We have not matured to that place where nations can live without border. So, coming together is still far away. Lot of maturity needs to happen. Uh, I don't believe it will happen in our lifetime. So, you have to guard the border.
<laughs> that's the only way. <laughs> and you were saying the peaceful, wonderful uh, yoga center, we are living very peacefully, wonderfully, because all of you are standing there on the border, otherwise we wouldn't be here peacefully, wonderfully. Thank you very much for being here.